Hello and welcome to another news episode of Kira Electric News. Um, at the time that I'm recording this, it's um, 20 past 3 on Friday afternoon, um, the new battery precondition update hasn't reached the UK. Um, I've been in contact with Kia uh, this morning to see if they knew when it would be coming and they said that Kia Global has not released it for the UK yet and they don't give any warning when it will happen. Um, the precondition release has, has made it to uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Croatia and Germany so far. So um, hopefully this is going the same way that the Ionic 5 one went and it took two weeks to get to the UK in the end. So I'm hopeful it might be next week or the week after, but we shall see. Uh, it'll be good to get it. Um, I also found uh, on this Tech Deep's art article on it on the release in uh, in Sweden so fingers crossed regarding the update for battery preheating if you've got it in your um, European country or somehow you've managed to get it in the UK can you please let me know um, so um, I'd just be interested to know where it is um, around the world and who can get it currently um, there's been quite a lot of platform news and upcoming um, software and over the air update features um, released from Hyundai Global over the last week. There's been an Inside EVs article and also um, another article from um, Motor Authority um, where they talk OTO, over the air upgrades, paid features and, and what's coming in the future Hyundai's. Apparently uh, the full OTA with um, full firmware up full firmware updates is coming to the uh, Ionic 6 first and then the EV9 and all of their new cars from 2025 all new models will be getting it which is one of my old predictions from a few videos back so uh, I'll put both links to that and there's also um, a platform that unlocks software age um, a whole platform video with subtitles so you can watch the presentation of that if you're interested I'll put that up well, after I recorded yesterday's news episode I found another story on a website called drive.com.au um, Hyundai and Kia claim 50% more driving range from new electric car platform so it looks like <clears throat> the EGMP platform is coming to an end and it's been replaced by something new um, they've announced something called the Integrated Modular Architecture System for Battery Electric Cars which standardises battery packs, electric motors and various chassis components across various models. So that is what will be coming in the future. My new amplifier has been installed and it's so much better than the original one. It's got so much more oomph and kick. Um, what I've done, I've, I've recorded some YouTube studio uh, library music and I'll put these tracks at the end and I've got a before when my amplifier was broken and in a terrible fashion and the after if anyone's interested in listening. Um, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to record these on my old amp before it popped but um, I don't know it's just out of curiosity if you want to otherwise just skip them. Anyway um, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching.